What's going on everyone? My name is Cynic. And in case you guys don't follow the Borderlands channel here on YouTube, earlier today they officially dropped the trailer for their Bloody Harvest event. This was a Halloween themed event that we've known for some time was going to be coming. We just didn't know exactly when and how long. At least as far as dates go. I mean, we did know it was going to last a decent amount of time. But with this trailer, it gives us that information along with what we can expect with this update. Now, first things first, this is a free content update. So whether if you have the season pass or not, it doesn't matter. This is going to be coming to everyone through an update and this update will be live on October 24th so this upcoming Thursday also just some little additional information in order to access the brand new area known as heck you have to already be on sanctuary or getting ready to leave the planet Pandora that's not too far into the story but be aware because Maurice who's the Saurian character that's going to be giving you these missions can only be talked to on sanctuary I just want to make that clear so that way you know hopping into Borderlands 3 this weekend you know how to get this started and how to work your way towards the new area now the bloody the Harvest event has been known about for some time, so we already know or already knew a few things. Like, they're going to be introducing a brand new mechanic known as Terror, which covers your character in this fog like mist that affects your aim and overall just disorientates you. We also know that we're going to be facing some quote unquote new enemies known as Rack Lanterns, which are racks with pumpkins on their heads that breathe fire, and that the main boss this time around is, is Captain Hot. This, of course, being Captain Trunt returning from the grave. He also has some brand new powers, which is very briefly showcased in this trailer. Some new information, however, is we already knew we we're going to be getting a new shotgun. That is the only thing that's seemingly going to be obtained through drops in the Bloody Harvest event. Because along with this, we're also going to be getting a brand new trinket, a new weapon skin, a new echo device skin, new cosmetics for all four vault hunters. But it looks like all this stuff is not going to be obtained through a drop. So don't expect to spend hours on end inside of heck trying to get this one particular weapon skin. All this stuff is going to be earnable through challenges that are automatically going to start being tracked as soon as the Bloody Harvest event goes live. Apparently, they're also going to be added in a host of useful anointed weapons earlier in the video i mentioned that there's going to be a brand new debuff known as terror which is mainly meant to afflict you but they're going to be added in anointed weapons that in their words switch this debuff into a buff it's going to be granting special bonuses which i'd imagine depends and varies from weapon to weapon depending on what they are but i'm assuming just automatically right off the bat there's going to be at least one of them that possibly reflects this back at the enemies or even they can have an anointed base around co-op gameplay whenever you're terrorized you're at accuracy your damage your precision of the weapon that you have in your hands carries over to the person you're playing with i think that would be badass i think that would be a perfect way to cheese boss fights or cheese areas that you're just having a hard time in. you know you have someone running around with a very strong gun in his hands getting terrorized and now the damage from that weapon carries over to you and adds to whatever weapon you have in your hands it sounds like a cool idea although i highly doubt that especially with them going around nerfing weapons lately like they have which honestly on a side note makes no sense if there's no cooperation operative gameplay or no player versus player elements i don't understand why you have to nerf anything but it is what it is i guess but to wrap this video up here the event is gonna last roughly six weeks just shy of six weeks actually from october 24th to december 2nd which should give the majority of people plenty of time to collect a fair amount of this stuff i'm hoping that within this update we also get some new storage space because they also said that outside of heck there's also going to be a bunch of other items that you can collect just by randomly playing the game during the seasonal event there's going to be additional skins additional gear additional weapons that you can only obtain during this event and it's not all found inside of heck so it would actually be beneficial to maybe even go boss farming or run around in mayhem mode in your favorite circle of slaughter and just try to gather as much stuff as you can because they're adding in extra stuff that's not just in the new area anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below are you guys excited for the bloody harvest event i mean i've been waiting for this event for about two weeks now but with them going around and nerfing all these weapons and doing all these tweaks when the game is still a little laggy i mean i don't really understand it i i hope that we also get a new update with this seasonal event that smooths the game out a little bit more and you know stops nerfing stuff but just gonna have to wait and see how everything goes but like always guys my name is cynic thank you all so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy it and found it helpful if you did then be sure to drop a like and subscribe as that stuff is greatly appreciated but until next time my friends i will see you all later